Before you start your day, take the time out to praise God and to give Him glory. Isaiah 25 verse 1 says, O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. Your counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Exodus 23 verse 25 says, So you shall serve the Lord your God, and he will bless your bread and your water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verse 22 says, Therefore you are great, O Lord God, for there is none like you, nor is there any God besides you. According to all that we have heard with our ears. And so I would like to encourage you today to worship the Lord. Give Him your praise. Give Him your adoration and thanks for all that He has done, for all that He is doing, and even in faith, for all that He will do. And so now, let us pray. I thank you, Lord, for your protection today. I ask that you would cover me. And as I rejoice that this is the day that the Lord has made, may you turn your face towards me as I go about my business. I pray that your presence will surround me. May your divine peace be found in my mind and in my heart. I lay my burdens at your feet today and I ask for peaceful rest in the knowledge that you are a God who will fight for me. You are a God who will give me comfort and rest. Holy Spirit, I ask that you would help me not to let the worries and the stress of this world pull me down. Help me not to hold on to any wounds or feelings of hurt from today or from the past. Help me to quiet my mind and turn off all unsettling thoughts. Only you know what the day holds for me and only you can calm a troubled heart. So I pray that when I feel anxious, I ask that you replace anxiety with a godly peace. When I feel low or when I am disappointed, may you lift my burdens up and give me strength, Lord. When I am in need of anything, may you be my provider. You, Jehovah, are the rock of all ages, my fortress and my stronghold. You are my source of joy and strength. And when I am discouraged or tired and weary, I know that I can always come to you, Lord. I can always find strength and comfort within you. I can always find strength and comfort in your arms. And not only will I wait on you to renew my strength, but I will also look to you. I will invite your presence into my life, because only in you can I find a deep sense of peace, a sense of wholeness and belonging. Lord, I am looking to you for answers. I am looking to you for guidance. And I will not lean on my own understanding because I am limited in my own thinking. But instead, I will lean on your word. 
I will lean on the Holy Spirit. I will trust and believe that there is a greater purpose than what my eyes can see for anything that I am going through. I am believing, I am trusting in you, Lord, that you have a divine plan and that you are still in control regardless of what's going on around me. There is a reason that you allow me to face certain things. There is a reason you allow me to come across different challenges. And if it is in your will, I ask that the Holy Spirit may always be with me. I invite you Holy Spirit to always be beside me. Give me the faith to stand firm and endure. I pray that you stand by me Lord Jesus. I don't know what I will face tomorrow, but I do know that your word tells me to submit to you, for you will make my paths straight. I do know that your word tells me that if I am facing deep and troubling waters, you will be with me and they will not sweep over me. When I walk through the fire, I will not be burned. And so I am grateful for your protection. I am grateful for your companionship. I am grateful for your provision in my life, Lord Jesus. I ask that you would forgive me of all my sins. Have mercy on me and my family. You are a God who has been faithful throughout the ages. And so I ask that you put my mind at ease with everything that I am facing. Open my eyes and help me to see your hand in every situation. Open my eyes, Holy Spirit, so I may see the goodness of God in all of my circumstances. In you, Lord, and in your word, I will place my confidence for tomorrow. In you and in your word, I will place my hope and faith, for I know not what tomorrow holds. You are the God who knows the number of hairs on my head. And as you say in your word, I am not to fear, because I am more valuable to you than many sparrows. And so I will declare that I will not fear. When I feel exhausted or worn out, when I feel tired of fighting, tired of struggling, be my comforter, Holy Spirit, be my load bearer. Renew my strength even when I am going through the deepest and darkest valley, the deepest and darkest times in my life. Guide me so that I may be far away from the enemy or from any evil. I ask Lord that your holy presence may be felt continuously in my home, continuously around me and wherever I am. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for being my light even in the darkest of times. You are the good shepherd that guides me throughout the day. And at this time, I am praying for joy, Lord, supernatural joy from you, so that I may not be disheartened when things don't go my way. Help me not to be discouraged by the disappointments of life, but rather let the joy of the Lord be my strength. I pray for the understanding that you have my best interests at heart always, Lord. Even when it doesn't feel like it or when things don't go my way, my heart will not be troubled because I know and I trust that you are a God who loves me. I trust and believe 
that my future is secure. My future is made certain because of my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. My future is secured and certain because of your unending love. And so I pray and I declare that my faith is anchored in you, for you have control over all things. I choose to rest in you and in your presence. I choose to have a spirit of faith instead of fear. I choose to have a spirit of faith instead of doubt. I choose, Lord, to place my hope in Jesus instead of despairing at the world. And so I thank you for being a refuge and a strong tower. I thank you for being a present help in times of uncertainty, in times of trouble. I thank you for your love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.